microphone currently in use. <clears throat> microphone here. The OSX LED being recorded, but audio has not been detected. Hmm. I'll experiment and see. Yeah. Anyway, um, what I'm about to read are my words and a Muslim's words. And I haven't found a name for this yet, but uh, I'm currently in a uh, discussion of Islam with a Muslim. And uh, I told him that I'd be doing this uh, with an accent, a mock Arabic, well, a, a, foreign, a, a mock foreign accent when I do his words. And when I read his words, I'll be... Uh, <laughs> Using the, uh, the ugly side of my face, you know. And when I use my words, I'll be doing the better side. At least I think it's better. I, I could be wrong, but you know. But anyway, um, he accused me of racism for doing an accent. You know? I don't know. Uh, I call it a mock Arabic accent, but really it's, 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 it's a... It's a mock foreign accent because to me Islam is still foreign for America. <clears throat> so anyway, I have a feeling that he's an American. Probably doesn't even sound like, you know, an Arab or, or foreign or anything like that. But still, when I read his words, I'll be using this side of my face, using an accent, and I'll be using this side of my face to do my words. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, shoot. Um, you know something? I need to fix this better so I can see what I'm doing. So I need to, yeah, do this sort of thing, which I'm doing right now. And then I'll read these words here. That's what I'll do. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, you're probably wondering, why do I do it this way? Because I think if I read my read my voice for the Muslims, it'll become confusing, you know? So I'll, I change my voice for the Muslims, keep my voice with my words, and that way it's, I think it's not as confusing. And you'll call it racist and stuff like that, but, you know, you know it, who knows, maybe someone could see it as racist. I don't see it as racist. Yeah, besides I supposedly have Arabic in me. Well, uh, Black Irish, which is uh, supposedly uh, from the Moors, which would be Arabic, but who knows if that's true? Who knows if that's true? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> getting there. Getting there. I want to tell you, um, this guy, this Muslim I'm talking to, should feel flattered that I'm doing this with his words because I only do this with Muslims who I find are intelligent. And to me, he's one of the smartest Muslims I've come upon on the internet. I just could not turn him down uh, when I saw that he was smart. And when he sees that his words are in video form, it'll be interesting to see how it responds. 
knowing that he's contributing to my exposure of Islam on the internet. So, will he be angry? Will he be sad? I don't know. All I know is, is that he's really good at doing uh, Jihad of the Pen. And as I say, he's not stupid, which again is why I'm making these videos featuring his words. So, again, he should be flattered. Anyway, as I do this, the day today is now the 20th of October, 2012, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the debate, the last debate, between Mitt Romney and, El, as I call him, O Blamer, since he seems to blame things on people. I'm wondering if Romney will... Uh, continue to be a fighter or will he turn into McShame and be suddenly nice? Uh, things haven't gone uh, old blamer's way lately. He uh, uh, his, his being nice to terrorists has uh, backfired. From what I can tell his uh, uh, I think, I think O'Blamer was calculated. I think that he thought that if he if he uh, helped Muslims uh, overthrow Gaddafi, uh, they would not uh, respond later by killing the ambassador and making it look like Islam is evil, or that uh, terrorism is still a threat to the world. And I think O'Blamer uh, ignored the pleads and the for, for more protection from the ambassador because he wanted to be, really believe in his heart that yeah the guy doesn't mean what he's talking about i freed uh, them from Gaddafi, so why would they turn and you know kill the ambassador even you know because the ambassador helped him too and then when it happened and no blamer found out about it and then realized that terrorism still went was still going strong. That killing Bin Laden meant nothing. As a matter of fact, uh, when the uh, Muslim starts shouting "Obama, Obama, where are all Osama?" Uh, he just couldn't live with that fact and had to believe that it was caused by a uh, a video. A video no one saw. I saw it though, because yeah, I did, but I didn't see it until someone called my attention to it. I mean, no one was seeing this video until the Muslims called their attention to it. And I've, I made a video called The Black Cat Moment uh, for Islam because uh, it's based on the Hadith and shows how Muhammad is in Islamic sources. You know, how he was raiding caravans and all that stuff. And how he thought he was deemed possessed and uh, things like that. According to the Hadithic sources. So... Um, but as I was saying, Obama is living in La La Land, and I'm wondering if, uh, or as I call him, a blamer, he's living in La La Land, and I'm wondering if Mitt will go for the juggler in this next debate and say, why didn't she provide you know, forget terrorism or whatever. Why did you not provide help and protection for this guy when it was requested? You know, just keep on asking that question. Why didn't you do that? And then O'Blamer will have to say, uh, I like playing golf. Uh, um, uh, uh, foreign possibly is, uh, I, I knew that, uh, I didn't think, uh, I'd have to provide protection when I, uh, Help the Muslims overthrow Gaddafi. You know, that's, that's, that's that sort of thing. That's what I think. Is, and that's why I'm looking so so forward for this, this, this debate, this last debate. So. 
Okay, I think almost done here. Almost done. You know, I think I will probably no continue somewhere here until it's uh, all those things are straightened out. Yeah, it's almost done. Okay. Almost done. By the way, how many uh, time is on here? Oh, I think I'll end it here. Yeah. Okay. Part one will be coming up. So, yeah. Oh, what the heck? I'll do part two. Yeah. Okay. Bye.